Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Summoner Scott Selections here for Monday, January 17th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what we're doing. having a loss in college basketball with Army, minus one and a half at minus 118 on FanDuel. Line closed at two and a half, did not matter. Army actually led by three at halftime. They led 26 to 23, and then Lafayette scored 45 points in the second half. Army's defense completely fell apart. Lafayette couldn't miss a shot, and Really, not much else needs to be said. Army just no-showed the second half and look for a bounce-back winner here on Monday. And for the play today, looking at the NBA, going to be looking at a matchup between the Spurs and the Suns taking place at around 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play today here, we like the road team in this one. We like the Suns, minus four at minus 115 on DraftKings. Down recording of 4 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings why I like the Suns in the spot, first of all, Looking at the recent form of these teams, not that surprising, but still worth mentioning, the Suns have been playing a lot better. Suns have won six of their last seven games, with five of those wins coming by at least 13 points. They played Detroit yesterday, won that game by 20-plus, never in doubt. They got to rest Booker and Paul the entire fourth quarter, so they should be pretty rest. I don't expect fatigue to play much of a factor in this game. Meanwhile, San Antonio has lost nine of its last 11 games, and it actually was on a losing streak, but it did end up beating the Clippers. In their last game, Clippers have been an absolute mess over the last month, and they have no weapons now that Paul George is also out. So I'm not going to overreact to that performance. The Spurs against decent competition have really been awful, and I expect that trend to continue on Monday. Now looking at the efficiency numbers, the Suns have been a lot better. Suns rank sixth in offensive efficiency. San Antonio ranks tied for 19th. The Suns rank second in defensive efficiency. San Antonio ranks 20th. So Suns are a lot better on offense and a lot better at defense. Plus, this is a road game, as I mentioned before, but Phoenix has been really, really good on the road. The Suns have won each of their last five road games, so I do think they should fare well once again on the highway against a very underwhelming basketball team. Plus, if you want to look at some trends here, the Spurs are 1-4 and four ATS in their last five games versus a team with a winning straight-up record. So I mentioned the win against the Clippers, but against good teams, the Spurs have not fared too well lately, and I do think that'll be the case once again on Monday. So uh, besides that, just looking at everything else, I know Aiton might not play in this game. He did get injured early in the first quarter yesterday. They still have JaVale McGee. They still have Jalen Smith. They even have Biombo, who's a pretty good rebounder off the bench. I do think the Suns should manage to find a way to deal with Aiton potentially not playing in this game. But at the end of the day, the Suns are the best team in the league. Right now, I don't think it's really close. When you're looking at records, they have the best record in the league. San Antonio is a bottom feeder in the Western Conference, and I think the Suns will take care of business once again on Monday nights. The play that once again here for Monday, January 17th, is going to be on the Suns, minus four at minus 115 on DraftKings. Bye, everyone.